What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this video. Everyone, it's been about a about a week and a half since we got back from Texas. If you guys didn't get a chance to see the last video, we had some fun in Texas. I did my Iron Man. You all seem to love that video. And now we're getting back into the swing of things. If you haven't heard, Panda Express has just done something. They have just released Orange Chicken. And you're probably going, Eric, Orange chicken's always been around, all right? What's so special about it? But no, it's not just any regular orange chicken. It is Beyond Meat orange chicken. And I got really excited because we've actually had a some really good vegan, vegetarian, meatless uh, items before in fast food, and they've actually been really, really good. Unfortunately, there are only a few locations across the United States that are serving them. I got very, very excited to see that one of the locations was actually nearby us. So in this video, we're gonna be having a little Panda Express feast. I'm very, very excited for it. And I know you guys are probably wondering where Christy is. She might pop her head in in just a few minutes. She's out doing something with her friend. There are also some brand new items that have been released across shelves across the United States. And I got my hands on some of those items. So like usual with electric videos, I'm gonna break this into three different rounds. The first round is gonna be delicious. The second round is gonna be very delicious. But the third round, that is going to be the most delicious. So without further ado, everybody, it's time to get into round number one all right everybody so I feel like marshmallows have basically evolved at this point all right but like they started making flavored marshmallows then they started making stuffed marshmallows and these are stuffed marshmallows big bites right here and I love seeing new <laughs> new foods pop up and I love trying new foods so um, I got the filled marshmallows the s'mores and then I went and got the birthday cake filled marshmallows so we're gonna find out which ones are worth it and which ones are not worth it but before i get into round number one i've got something to tell you this video is being brought to you by raid shadow legends which happens to be one of the biggest games in the world right now and it's growing bigger and bigger orcs tend to be seen as bad characters in most fantasy games and movies but in raid they're not all bad after fighting against the banner lords high elves and sacred order they're just trying to survive if you want to know the full story, the campaign is going on in-game right now. I grew up playing fantasy games similar to Raid, and I was blown away at the customization options that you have with the orcs. Each orc is influenced by its tribe and personality and its own design, like Nogdar the Headhunter, King Garog, and Gomlock Skyhide. There's a ton of different stuff happening in Raid this month. They've got special events every single day, plus a bunch of awesome new champions. But the big update coming this month is the Guardian Ring. It's a huge feature that gives you a load of new ways to use your champions, including a whole faction Guardian Guardian system, a new way to get legendary champions you missed out on, and an entirely new way to upgrade your favorite champions. It's a massive deal and something myself and the raid community are super excited for. From there, you'll get an epic hero, Chinoro, who is amazing in the Doom Tower. 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard that you can use to summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All of the treasure will be waiting for you right here. These awesome rewards will be available for the next 30 days and are only available to new players. All you got to do is click the link in the description to get started today. Now that that's out of the way, I think I'm ready to get into these. The last diet 7-Up. By the way, everybody, I apologize in advance. I sound a little nasally because I have a bit of a cold, all right? I feel like people have forgotten that, like, things like colds still exist. All right, so, stuff puffs and then the birthday cake ones. I think I want to get into the s'mores ones first. And if you guys have tried these and you guys enjoyed them, let, let me know down below, because I always like seeing what you guys, uh, if you guys have tried any of these. Oh, they smell like s'mores. That is what it looks like right there. Do a little palate cleanse. All right, so here's the s'more. Oh, wow. That's good. That's what the inside looks like right there. These are uh, surprisingly good. I can't believe we've gotten to the point where we actually just snack on stuffed marshmallows. But hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> Worth it. I mean, it's it's hard for marshmallows to not be, it's hard to mess up with marshmallow. <laughs> like honestly, like how do you mash up, how do you mash up a marshmallow? How do you mess up a marshmallow? I'm very excited about this one. I'm also very critical of products that say that they're birthday cake or say that they taste like birthday cake, but they really don't taste like birthday cake. It's like an artificial taste. Here we go. I don't know about that. Got to go on for another, another one. Worth it? Not worth it. 
I don't know. These are just, they just don't do it for me. If you guys are gonna get any of these, I would go for these ones and definitely avoid those ones. Anyways, everyone, it's time for round number two. Alrighty, everybody. So this one, I'm actually, I've never really been this excited about a product before. I love brownie brittle and they now have brownie brittle that's infused with Reese's Pieces. I mean, everyone, can we just, can we just take a moment? All right. Just like that is, that is legendary right there. All right. Now, if you guys remember the last time I had a, a Krispy Kreme packaged product on this channel, one of them tasted really good. And the other one just was like, uh, yeah, no, not good at all. I don't know how these are going to taste. Hopefully they're going to be fresh. We'll see what happens, but um, but yeah, Reese's Pieces Brownie Brittle. I mean, when I posted these on my social media, I had a few people like DM me and say, it's weird, like I'll post products sometimes and people will be like, oh, those are so good. They like, they're life changing. And then another person will, will DM me and just be like, those were like the worst things I've ever tasted. So it's like, I don't really know what to believe anymore. It's, it's I mean, taste is really relative, so. Um, but yeah, all right. So these are the Krispy Kreme Coolers right here. All right, so here we go. Let's try it out. Okay, that's actually not bad. I don't know why. I thought it would be like hollow in the inside. Not bad at all. For some reason, I was thinking about like the last time that I had a cooler and it was a honey one, but like the inside, like this is like a cake donut on the inside. And the last time I had one, it was just like, almost like hollow. Definitely worth it. Now these, I don't know. It's like one of those things where you have so much hype for a product. They're like super excited for it. If it's not as good as you thought it was going to be, it's like, oh, it's such a letdown. I've had that happen probably millions of times. But, ooh, that's what it looks like right there. It's like literally, I mean, it's brownie brittle. Here we go. Let's try it. That's good. The thing I love about this Brownie Brittle brand, I mean, I'm not sure if Brownie Brittle always has this, but it's like, it kind of tastes a little bit burnt. Mmm, super good. Worth it, worth it. All right, everybody, so we have a, uh, we got a little Panda Express feast. All right, didn't I say I, I would have a little Panda Express feast? Not so little, kind of little. I don't eat Panda Express very often. And you know, when I get it, I just make sure to, you know, enjoy. So here we go. I actually got two. These are the Beyond chickens right here. So I'm gonna put those to the side just in case Christy pops her head in here and wants to do this with me. I'll get a plate. All right, so you guys know me. I had to get some, I had to get some veggies, okay? Health is wealth. And then uh, we got some teriyaki chicken right here. Let's try this chicken out. It's not bad. All right, so. I got two of the Beyond chickens right here, and I got a regular orange chicken. So we're gonna do like a, we're gonna do a little comparison. You guys know, I had to go to, to Panda Express and get some chow mein. What do you guys get at Panda Express when you go? My classic order that I would always get as a kid when I was deep into my World of Warcraft phase, I would go to, or, I almost said I'd go to orange chicken. I would go to Panda Express, I'd get a two entree plate, and then I would get chow mein, fried rice, orange chicken, and broccoli beef. And I'd sit there and play World of Warcraft. That was my that was my after school ritual that I would do. Let me know what you guys like at Panda Express. I'm actually gonna get into one of these uh one of these egg rolls. Here we go. Let's try it. Not bad. Personally, I'm a I'm a bigger fan of their veggie spring rolls. Um, but these get the job done. Yeah. So the teriyaki chicken. I would say like if I was to actually go and eat like something at Panda Express and get it for something that's like not a, a food challenge. I'd probably go for the teriyaki chicken. Okay. And I haven't even had a vegetable yet. Now they put sweet and sour sauce in packets. If you guys need to accessorize, you can do it. Oh, sweet and sour sauce is everything. Throw some, some chow mein on a, on a piece of broccoli. It's gonna completely Makes zero sense, but hey, I'm doing it. Ooh, that crunch. Here we go. Mmm. All right, we're gonna need another plate for the main event, everybody. I don't know. I'm like pretty excited about this, all right? Based on the last few things we've had that have been meatless, they've been pretty good, all right? There are also some things that have not been very good. <laughs> 
So um, just for comparison purposes, we have a regular order of orange chicken right there. It just looks glorious because it always looks glorious. Always looks good. So that is a regular. And that my friends and family is the Beyond orange chicken. Like already right off the bat, I already see that this is like, it's like more uniform. Like it's already pretty much like, I mean, they all look exactly like they're the same size. When you have like regular orange chicken, you see some that are like behemoths and some that are like puny. But uh, but with this is like, it's all like the same. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in some orange chicken first. Cause I haven't had orange chicken in a little while. So here we go. It always, always hits the spot. All right, hot cleanse. Now here we go, the moment of truth. Now this is the Beyond Orange Chicken. Wow. I'm actually, I'm pretty blown away. It's good. I can't believe I'm saying that. Okay. You can definitely tell it's not chicken, but it's still really good. Like the flavoring on point, like they nailed that flavoring. I can't even believe that. Like I had my expectations, this surpassed them like a lot. I'm gonna say the new Beyond Orange Chicken from Panda Express is 100 thousand percent worth it if you guys have tried it before let me know down below in the comments let me know what you guys thought of it also let me know what you guys thought of this video if you guys haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel let me know what you want to see next on the electrics and without further ado the electrics are out